Well, it's a topic many presidential candidates are addressing on the campaign trail, and now one local assemblyman is talking about it in Albany. Assemblyman Phil Palmasano introduced legislation to make college more affordable. WENY's Logan Wilson met with the assemblyman today and joins us now to explain how his legislation aims to tackle student loan debt. Logan. Renata, Assemblyman Palmasano's legislation aims to tackle student debt by offering tax credits and community college scholarships. The average debt that a New York stu State student has is nearly $28,000. Uh, nationally, is $29,000. And we need to make sure if people, uh, kids who are pursuing college uh, that it's more affordable. Assemblyman Phil Palmasano and his fellow Assembly Republicans announced their plan to make college more affordable for New Yorkers. The Palmasano-backed bill includes the Endowing the Community College Merit and Mobility Scholarship Program, which offers top high school graduates a $1,000 a year scholarship to attend a New York State Community College. There's a partnership and a collaboration already between our community colleges and employers in the region. So I think anything like that that can introduce students to community college setting and, and work uh, with the area employers can help uh, further education, but also help hopefully land them uh, good employment so they can stay here in the region. The bill also established the Learning for Work program in New York high schools. The program encourages businesses to take on apprentices by offering a $1,500 tax credit. I think it's a win-win because it allows uh, the business uh, to get a look at some of our younger students and, and possibly identify future employees, uh, give them a tax credit uh, while providing that opportunity and give valuable work experience uh, to our young men and women who are, are going to either pursue college or a future uh, work in, in a different area. The legislation also includes increasing communication between students and colleges about debt relief information, as well as petitioning the federal government for refinancing federal loan options. The bill will now be evaluated by budget committees before being brought before the Assembly. If passed, it would then need to be approved by the Senate before it goes to Governor Cuomo to be signed into law. In the studio, Logan Wilson, WENY News.